you know what? Screw brief, we're going all out. We're going full out. We're going 10 minutes long video. We're going full out, y'all. Was that enough whiplash to maybe send you into the next year? Maybe it won't be as crappy as 2020. Hey guys, what is up? It's Miss with Mildred and welcome back to the channel. I have another video for you guys today. What's freaking new? This probably has to be the most highly requested video that I have ever been asked to make. No, we're not talking about buying Polaroid camera film off of Wish. Completely different critter we're dealing with. I posted a video, I think maybe like two or three months. It has taken off and it has really helped my channel grow a lot. I will put the little banner in one of these corners. I don't know which one it will pop up in, but that is the link to the video that I am talking about. In that video, I discuss the Fuji Film Instax Mini 9 and I compare it to the 11. And this is the newest addition to the Instax family that has recently popped up on the market in 2020. In that video, I take 10 photos on each one and I just kind of compare different parameters like far away, close ups. You have to go watch the video to understand what I'm talking about. I'm holding you accountable. Y'all keep asking me which one is better. And I thought I covered it pretty well in the last video, but apparently I did not. I don't want to be super biased, but Y'all just keep hammering me. You want answers. I feel weird making a video about you need to buy this camera. Don't buy any others. This one, this one only. But apparently that is what y'all want. So here's that video. We're just gonna sit down. We're just gonna cover a few things on the cameras to compare them, you know, contrast what I personally like about them. And then I will finally make my mind up about which camera I think is better. I don't know. So here are my babies. We have the nine, which is my blue, and then we have the 11, which is in white. Very first thing we're going to look at is the shape of the body. Now I know this really isn't something that is really a determining factor, but you know what? We're going into deep analysis. Like, do I need to bring my lab coat? Yep, let me go get my lab coat. This might not be part of the scientific process of actually doing the initial experiment, but we mean business. So that means we have to look at our results, analyze, and conclude. And this is what we are doing today. We are being scientists. My new career occupation for the week. I'm out of breath from running to that closet to just get my lab coat. I just got so excited. I have no idea where I got that energy from. Now, overall, I can't really compare either or. They're both really just nice. This one has a cooler, more sleeker, rounded, straight finish. And then this one is a little more Lumpy? Is that what you could say? This one just has the usual Polaroid silhouette, which is just like a chunkier handle right here. This one doesn't go to either of them because I really just like them both. So I guess they both get a point. Point for the 9, point for the 11. Price. In the United States, I bought my Fuji Film Instax Mini Camera 9 for $59.99. And I bought it at the craft store, Michael's. There aren't really too many stores around me besides just Best Buy's and Walmart. But Walmart only sells the, I think it's the S7. It looks like a brick, needless to say. All right. Now for my 11, I actually bought it at the store Target and I believe it was $69.99. For the price of only being $10 more, I really don't see too much of a difference. I don't really know if you can consider this a determining factor as well as just the shape of the body. I think this is really just preference on if you want to upgrade or not. But open-endedly, I'm not going to incorporate the points for this one because quite frankly, I mean, cheaper is always better, but not in some cases. Next, to address the elephant in the room, this is the key feature that is the spotlight for this platform as far as selling the 11 versus the 9. And this is the automatic exposure that they incorporated into the 11. If you look at the 9, there are five different settings on there. There's house light, cloudy, sunny, higher sun, and then there's a high key feature. But when you look at the 11, non-existent. It does not exist. It is automatic. I've played around with both of the cameras. My 9 usually tends to have darker photos and there's not a lot of like fill light. But when you look at my 11s, most of them actually turn out pretty solid, but there are a few instances where they are actually overexposed. The 9 is always slightly more darker and then the 11 is just slightly more lighter. 
So this is what I mean by I can't make my mind up. I like being able to control the lighting. I think the 9 is a great camera if you are planning on playing around with the light or just experimenting because it does give you the control of being able to adjust the shutter to how much light or exposure that you want the film to be exposed to. But the 11 does not give that capability. It does not have any knob or any way to adjust it. This is a close call. I hate making decisions like this. I'm going to give it to the 9. Only because I like having the capability and like the sense of comfort to be able to control the knob and adjust it to how I want to have it exposed at. Now the other key selling point that this camera has as far as the 11 is the built-in selfie mode which I think is the coolest concept yet like you did good there never would have thought of that the 9 is just slightly a little annoying because you have to have the lens and your girl can't keep up with half her crap so what makes you think I'm gonna be able to keep up with a little plastic lens reality I'm not gonna be able to Point proven. So I just like that they incorporated it into the 11 and all you simply has to do is just push, like push it out. I haven't taken too many photos on it as far as the close up with the 11, but I haven't been disappointed yet. Built in selfie close up lens goes to the 11 hands down. Like they take that one. Now the nine has been on the market for a long time. Actually, I take that back. It's been just a few years. The 9 has a crap ton of different colors. Like, they have two different shades of pink. They have two different shades of blue. Actually, I think they have like three or four. I take that back. They have a lot. They have yellow. They have purple. They have orange. Do you want me to keep naming these all? There are a lot of different colors. It gives you a whole lot more capability if you're using this as like a piece to decorate your room or functionally pick a really cute case to go with it or the little straps for it. The 11 is limited to only five colors. It's black, blush pink, white, which is the one I have, blue, and lavender. I really do like some of the colors that are featured in the 11, but I think they're just kind of repetitive. I really do like my white version of it. Only thing that of course everyone always worries about is it gets dirty. Oh my gosh, yes. Surprisingly, there's really not too much I can really compare. Specifically, just mainly covering the fact that it has a selfie close-up zoom that is built in and that it is auto. Overall, I am giving this comparison to the 9. Now, I know there are going to be people that are going to comment down in the commentary box down below that I am wrong and I don't know what the heck I'm talking about but just to be clear this is preference I'm just going off of through my experience of taking photos I have had more experience with the 9 than I have had with the 11 but through the various experiments that I have done on my channel and just like little comparison videos I feel like the picking the 9 is a sound decision you really can't go wrong with either or and if you pick one over the other, that is all up to you, but I really don't think there's no right or wrong to either or. I think they're both really just solid, great cameras and worth investing in. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this was helpful and answered some of your questions that I have recently received. If you have any further more questions, feel free to ask away. I'm I usually respond pretty pretty darn fast actually. If I see that little notification, I'm like, oh, on it, I'm on it. Feel free to ask me anything, um, as long as it's not how to get rid of a body. I don't know how to do that, so don't ask me those weird questions. Keep them to yourself. If y'all like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that little gray notification at the top because you definitely want to see some more videos of me. There's no guarantee what those videos are gonna be about, but. You know that wish one that y'all were talking about earlier? May or may not be a thing in a few weeks. So you gotta stay tuned to, to you know, to, to, to see that. But I will see y'all in the next video.